everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm making a fire chicken recipe so if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook this is a really easy dinner to make and this is basically just for myself because no one's going to eat anything this spicy in my household but let's go ahead and grab your veggies and mince up your gingers really finely and i'm actually going to use pre-minced garlic so i won't be mincing any garlics here in the video but go ahead and use fresh garlic if you'd like to as for the red and green chili peppers, since this is for one to two servings, I'm only using half. If you're going to double this recipe, use the entire chili peppers for both. If the thought of adding the red and green chili peppers just seems to be too much, just skip this step. As for the green onion I'm going to chop up, I am using that to garnish my food with, so we won't be using this in our marinade at all. I'm slicing up one pound of chicken breast into bite-sized pieces. If you have chicken thighs, use that in place. Once you're done cutting up your chicken, set these aside and let's throw all of our other ingredients into a bowl. Again, remember this is a fire chicken recipe. It is supposed to be super spicy, so we're just gonna throw all of our ingredients in there. I used a quarter cup of chili pepper paste and chili pepper red pepper flakes, and we're gonna mix it up until it becomes a nice thick paste. Now let's throw our bite-sized chicken pieces into the bowl and give this a good mix. Once everything is nicely coated, set your bowl aside and let's move on to our next step. If you're going to use vermicelli noodles, follow the instructions that come with your package, but I'm going to be using rice cakes in mine. Now I highly recommend using an air fryer for the rice cakes because I've used that before and it per turns out perfectly every single time. But since this was just for basically me, I went ahead and threw mine on a skillet. It's harder on a skillet, it's doable, but you'll find that it gets a little bit sticky and it's going to get stuck together and yeah use the air fryer if you can but since i'm doing this just for me i went ahead and heated up my skillet to a medium high heat and threw some oil in there and i let it cook for a few minutes on one side i flipped it and see where it's a little bit toasty that's the kind of look that we want on this once this is done go ahead and turn off your heat and set this aside, leaving them inside of the pan so it just sits there nice and warm. Now going back to our chicken, I went ahead and grabbed a small pan and I threw some oil in there and heated it up to let it mix around. And I'm throwing my chicken right inside. And we're gonna cook this through. That eighth cup of water that you saw with the asterisk earlier, you're gonna throw that into your mixing bowl and get all that paste out of there. And you're gonna throw that right on top so we don't waste any of that. Now we're gonna mix up our chicken with our sauce and make sure we give it a good coat on each piece, making sure we cook it for a few minutes and not letting it burn on the bottom. I did turn down my heat to a medium setting and I let my chicken continue cooking for about eight to nine minutes. Once you see that your chicken is pretty much cooked through, this is where you would go ahead and add your rice cakes on top. If you like to add cheese, add the cheese on top of your rice cakes and let that cook through for a few minutes. I went ahead and served my food right from the skillet and added my green onions and sesame seeds on top. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.